RFK says he can win. He can win this 2024 election. He was recently on a podcast with Patrick Bet David from Valuetainment, and in that interview, he stated that in the key battleground states, he was winning by 24%. You see there, Donald Trump, 35%, and Biden somehow shockingly still coming in at 33%. How anyone could vote for him is beyond puzzling to me. What's important is here in America, there are two major political parties, Republicans and Democrats. And if you're not one of them, somehow Americans find it extremely hard to vote third party because they believe that it divides the vote. The biggest adversary to RFK has been the boomers. Boomers, yes, the people that we all love to hate. The people that have made enough money to retire. The people that bought their house for $33,000 and had secure jobs and good paying wages that they could provide for an entire family. The boomers that sit on Facebook night and day criticizing how bad the millennials, Gen Zs, and even some Gen Xers are because they just can't work as hard as they did. He says that they are their, his biggest adversaries. They they're the people that are still tuned in to mainstream news, and they get their news every day from these mainstream publications. This presidential candidate has been put under the microscope, quite literally, for every little thing he says, yet we don't hold the two presidents that have had a chance to earn our respect by doing the right things. We don't put them under the same scrutiny at all. Think about it. Trump and Biden have been presidents. Have they been successful in your eyes? Have they done anything that we wanted them to do? Whenever I think of Trump and I think of his success, I think of all the things, yes, he passed some legislation that were key legislation, but he could have done more. I remember seeing an interview with Ann Coulter. Yes, the, the Ann Coulter that everybody said, oh, she's racist. And yes, she has some racist freaking tendencies. But I've even seen her, who was a big fan, a big advocate for Trump, say, I just don't trust him anymore. I can't rely on him because he, he did not do the things that we wanted him to do. He didn't even repeal Obamacare. Then you have people like President Biden that we can see his track record. He's been the worst president in U.S. history, in my opinion. Well, next to like Jimmy Carter and a lot of idiots that ran and did horrible things for our economy. He says that the mothers, the people that he talked to when he's on the campaign trail, the mothers have been fan of his, fans of his, people under the age of 35, even people in my age group, which I totally agree. And no, I'm not paid for him. I'm not a shill for him. I don't know him, nor have I met him, or do I know anything other than the fact that that he's a lawyer? And I refuse, refuse to believe that. Somebody threw that in there never said he was anti-vax the fact that he said they said that he's anti-vax if i were him i would sue for defamation of character and find out who is putting this information out and sue the pants off of them i get it a lot of you don't trust the kennedy family <laughs> i certainly don't agree with a lot of the things the kennedy family has done but i definitely am willing to give anybody else a shot we've seen what these other guys can do we've seen the kind of hatred that is given to trump and think about that if he gets in office, what would he have to do in order to get things done? The amount of hatred he has from the Democratic Party will make everything just be at a standstill. And I guess that is what many of you guys like. You'd rather nothing be done at all to improve the working class, to improve society. You'd just rather sit on your hands and do nothing. The news articles write about him. I, I'm shocked this man doesn't sue. Meet the big money moguls. Really? This man clearly went on record on that Patrick Bet David um, podcast and said, I don't even have nowhere near the funding of Trump and Biden. So I'm with Pierce Bronze, Eric Clapton, Aaron Rodgers, Woody Harrelson, Joe Rogan, Snyder, and my favorite, Alicia Siv Silverstone, who ended up in 2023 saying she endorsed Rob RFK and she definitely has left the Democratic Party because obviously these people are not doing anything to better anyone's life. And the other thing about him is he's willing to meet you where you're at. He realizes that a lot of people that are voting are online and he's done many town halls online. He's done many like this, meeting with different podcasters, major podcasters to get his points out. We don't see Biden doing any of that. We don't even see him on a campaign trail. You wanna know why? He can't, can't be on a campaign trail. He's an 80 something year old man that can barely stand. Let's do better people. 
Americans need to unify. We need to unify and realize that we have the opportunity to change things. Again, I have no money from him. There's no benefit to me making this video other than saying we need to break these norms that are in our society. The system has to fail in order for things to change. Have a great day and think for yourself.